Hi, this is Graham Jaycock. Now, the debate is always on a, about how former tennis players' glory will ever be fulfilled in the same way in the present or the future. And one such tennis player uh, who's, who is currently, or rather, being discussed is Andy Murray. Now, what, what's the, uh, the, the quote? It says, Andy Murray will never win a slam again, says former world number four Tim, Tim Henman. Now, well, it could be that way, but it's... <laughs> Fate and uh, what happens in tournaments is, well, things get encountered that uh, are not to be expected. Now, if you were to jump into the women's tour, the, the recent event uh, in Chicago, uh, uh, I forget the name of the tournament, but in the final, there were two players, Jabur from Tunisia, and she was playing against Garbina Margarufa from Spain. Now, if you had seen the path of these two players, eh, and use that as a basis to say, well, it is plausible that in future tournaments, whether a person remains healthy on that particular day that Andy Murray is playing in a tournament, okay? things can go the way Andy would like, just as it went with Margaretha. Now she had, she, I, I, if, I, if I recall correctly, she didn't have to play three of her rounds, where, eh, what's her name, Jabur played all of her rounds. Now, putting that eh, option aside, we can go down the other route, and that would be in a the men's tour and the women's tour have set a tournaments, okay? Now I would like one of these tournaments, okay, on each surface, okay to play with wooden rackets. Now, this will separate the the boys from the men and the girls from the women in terms of a tennis IQ because just because a person who is a be, you can because the game of tennis is physical, right? Not every tennis player who has a great tennis IQ, okay, can make use of their tennis IQ because they need physicality, okay? You could argue that their IQ could, their tennis IQ could adapt, that they manipulate the physicality of the game. But since a players currently are not achieving this are, and are having to rely on pure physical, that is debatable. So I think Andy Murray can win a Grand Slam again or a, a tournament if they change the racket, because Andy Murray has a great tennis IQ. But not all physical players, okay, on the tour, who win 
have great tennis IQs because they may get the point because of the pure physicalness of the game. Because if you get to a ball, right, and get the ball over, that's not your tennis IQ, that's your physicalness winning the point. So, if you made one of the Grand Slams into a wooden rackets tournament, okay, then Andy Murray will have doubled his a uh, doubled the well what's the word I'm looking for the opportunity to win the Grand Slam so Tim Henman if it is Tim Henman's quote needs to pers well Tim Henman is a very influential person in tennis if I have to believe the the commentaries that goes on so Tim Henman if you want Andy Murray to win a Grand Slam why don't you preach to those influential in the tennis world to get a Grand Slam just a random Grand Slam to use wooden rackets just for one year perhaps or just the every odd year or have a tournament not a Grand Slam that uses wooden rackets then you will see what real tennis can achieve when you s remove the physicalness of the game anyway I mean, it's the luck of a draw as well. It's quite feasible that the way uh, in any particular year you can win. Let, well, I, I, uh, a, f a good uh, uh, point is, what's the guy's name? Pat Cash. I didn't witness that year. Or I'm, I probably watched it, but I never... Uh, I wasn't conscious of who was playing, right? I wasn't following each round. I was just involved in it, individual matches because I was too young to know. But I remember a comment made by someone. Pat Cash, the year he won uh, Wimbledon, he never really had the players. So maybe that same opportunity it really depends on all the players' fitness in the tour, how they play out in a particular uh, tournament. Anyway, enough said. Bye.